In this video, we are going to learn one of the most famous tool used in share market to evaluate company's value before investment, and that is P/E ratio. To know the value of a company, we need to compare its share price to its earning per share. To understand this, let's take an example of a company called ABC. Let's say its share price is rupees hundred, and the earning from each share is rupees ten. So we can calculate the P/E ratio by dividing share price with its earning per share. That is, ratio of these two share price and earning per share is called P/E ratio. In this example, we got P/E ratio of this ABC company is ten. Now, if you are interested in buying this share at this price, then how to know the current share price is cheap or costly? It's like uh, buying a product, a fruit or vegetable. Uh, let's say you are willing to buy one kg of tomato. You go to the market and you ask for the price, and the seller says rupees hundred per kg. Then instantly you can sense that this is costly. How? Because you know previous price or average price of tomato is about rupees thirty or rupees forty per kg. that means you know the current value of the tomato similarly to know whether we are getting this abc company at a right price or not we can compare the average pe of the abc company to its current pe let us say the average pe of this abc company is 6 and currently the share is trading at a pe of 10 that means the current pe is more than the average pe that means currently the abc company is trading at a higher rate at a higher price that means it is costly right now now let us know by using this tool how can we compare different companies from the same sector it's like comparing similar product from different companies like uh, comparing smartphones with same features of different companies in terms of its value To learn this, let's take an example of five companies from same sector A, B, C, D, and E. Let us say the current P of these companies are twenty, five, twenty-five, twenty-two, and fifty, respectively, as shown. Now, from this, we can calculate the average P of these five companies as twenty-four. That means the sector P is twenty-four. Now, let us look. to the company b's p which is 5 which is far less than the average p hence the company b is right now undervalued since it has potential to go up to a p of 24 and at the same time you can see the p of company e which is 50 which is far more than the average sector p that means it is overvalued since this may also go towards average sector pe that is 24 so the conclusion is we can predict that share price of company b may increase that means we can invest in company b to gain more since by increasing the share price it will reach towards the average sector pe that is 24 and at the same time investing in company e may be risky since there are chances in drop in pe that will lead to decrease in its share price i hope this comparison is helpful to understand the pe ratio but one thing is to be noted that pe ratio is not the only factor for fluctuation in share price there may be different factors for this thank you for watching i hope this is helpful for your learning if so please consider subscribing this channel for more such contents thank you